Hey guys, it's Jensa uh, doing another video. Um, if some of you noticed, the second challenge video did go up, but I had to take it back down because I'm not sure what happened, but our video went completely wonky. There's no way to fix it without re-recording re it. So, Cody and I are trying to figure out what to do in that regard and hopefully we'll have something worked out and get it back up for you guys in the near future so I very much do apologize for that. I did win the second challenge originally but with the recount we'll see. <laughs> so as you can tell, <coughs> pardon me, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Most of it's just what's left over in my lungs so things are starting to get better and I'm able to breathe, so I'm able to sleep, I'm able to not end up with laryngitis by the end of the work day. So, be that as it may, that's not the point of this video. Tomorrow marks the anniversary of a rather tragic day in United States history. And I remember it, where I was, and how it happened all too clearly. 9-11 definitely was extremely tragic and it feels strange to me that it happened as far ago as it did. I was a freshman in high school. I've been out of school now for 11 years so it's very strange to me that to think you know 15 years ago practically a decade and a half ago I was a freshman in high school and it was right after my birthday and even though I don't live near New York I do live within an hour drive to Shanksville and two to three hours from the Pentagon so it was a very scary time. I remember sitting in my second period class which then was freshman voice choir with Mr. Thompson. And in order to get into choir for the rest of your high school career, you had to take this it's sort of like choir 101 class. And Mr. Thompson was running late to class that day. We were all in the choir room waiting on him, and it was not uncommon for him to come to class a few minutes late some days because he had to run up to the main office and drop something off so we didn't think anything of it we just were sitting there with our folders with our music in front of us just chit chatting quietly and three four minutes into class he comes thundering into the room and usually when Mr. Thompson moves like that he is angry livid and this man wears it very much on his, his emotions on his sleeve and we all knew he was very angry before he said anything and all he told us before turning on the TV was sit down and shut up and he stood next to the TV turned it to a news channel just in time for us to see the repeated footage of the first plane going into the Twin Towers I panicked mostly even though New York is several hours away I panicked mostly because my two eldest brothers are truck drivers and at the time would sometimes do deliveries to the New York City area so I freaked out I was wondering where they were and I didn't have a cell phone then we're talking you know 2001 here <laughs> you know I didn't have a cell phone yet I had no way of getting a hold of my parents who also did not have cell phones right away so it became quite apparent very quickly that this was not some sort of joke that this was not staged and I tried to keep my cool and calm down and then third period rolled around which was we were on a block schedule so third period we had third period every single day and that was considered our home our homeroom class and I had government and every teacher I went to that day had 
the news playing. And I remember sitting in government class, he just had notes up on the board and he said, you know, take notes. He was more focused about watching the TV, but he also tried to keep us busy. And I remember hearing one of my classmates scream in the middle of writing notes as we watched live the second plane crash into the second tower. And I just about lost myself. I immediately begged to go and call home. And my parents weren't home. They were out grocery shopping. And I knew that was something on their agenda for the day, but I still panicked because I didn't know what, what happened. If something happened to one of my brothers, are they more worried about that? What's going on? And then within half an hour or so, our school was placed on lockdown because we were so, so close to Shanksville. And when a school goes into lockdown like that, it's very difficult for a parent to get their child to, out of the building. And my parents had gotten my message. They had called the school. And my dad said, I don't care what you're telling me. We could have family go in this mess. We're coming and picking our daughter up. So shortly around lunchtime, I was brought home. And I just remember sitting there with my parents feeling so many different emotions. Confusion, anger, most of all insecurity. Something like that hadn't happened in my lifetime. And it was absolutely tragic for it to happen. And it still stings to remember the horrible things that happened. And yet, now I look back and consider myself very grateful for living where I do and being as safe as I am where I live. And I'm not trying to glorify where I live as the safest place on earth, but, you know, every city has its problems, and yet where we live is, compared to where we used to live when I was a little kid, is much safer. And I'm very grateful for that because I know a lot of people suffered that day, and a lot of people still are suffering. We are very fortunate to live in an area where one of the stops for the motorcycle memorial ride that goes to all three locations, they stop at the local community college. And I remember the first year that happened, watching and watching it grow, seeing more and more cyclists do this memorial drive, and this year was the last year for it, which breaks my heart because the sense of community that this time of year builds in who we are, I think, needs to exist. We became weaker in some aspects because of 9-11. But since then, honestly, I've seen our country get a lot stronger, too. I went to high school with many kids who joined the military or decided their careers based on the tragedy of 9-11 because we decided, as a graduating class, we never, ever wanted to see something like this happen ever again. It set the tone for our entire high school careers and therefore our lives. And I read a startling statistic that most high schoolers starting this year wouldn't have even been born when 9-11 happened. And it has been really difficult talking about it with my students even over the last couple of years because some of them were so little they don't remember it. And to think that It'll phase into history like so many tragic days have just in a way bothers me and it makes me question how will people look back on it historically and 
I don't know. Maybe I'm overanalyzing. But I just have one hope that we can come together every September 11th and just remember that we as a country can be strong. We can pull together and do anything we set our minds to. So as this tragic day comes to us once again, God bless all of you and be safe and try not to take for granted the things that we do have as Americans or as citizens of wherever you live. Be proud of who you are. Be thankful of what you have. Treat each other kind, kindly and always look for the best in people instead of the worst. Take care, guys. If you'd like to see more daily vlogs from the two of us, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like us to tackle certain topics, please let us know. Much love.